I'm Dezabi. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the four automation modes work in Pro Tools. The four modes are read, touch, latch, and write. Now, just real quick, if you're not familiar with what automation is, think of it as programming. So a good example would be like if you're listening to a track on your headphones and there's a sound that goes from one ear to the other. That's panning automation. Or if the volume goes really low and then it picks back up when it hits the chorus, that's volume automation. So there are many ways that you can use automation to create a much better listening experience. So let's get to it. All right, let's hop right into it. Where can you find automation in Pro Tools? You can find it in the edit window here underneath waveform. You'll find the automation mode selector. You click it and you can change the mode. If we go to the mixer window, you can find it underneath the inputs and outputs. Right here it says auto and you can click it and change the mode here as well. So what parameters is that automation controlling? So if we go to the window tab, I'm gonna to go to automation and these are the parameters that we can control. Plugins, volume, pan, mute. Now for us to see what we're gonna be doing to the automation, let's open up the automation lanes. And that's this little button right here. And we click it and it'll show volume. If we right click it, we can choose other things such as panning or mute. And if you click the little plus sign here, you can work on multiple lanes at one time. But let's only work with volume for now. So let's add some automation here. And let's do some little tabs here and there so we don't change the volume of the entire track. And let's bring that down. And then if you have your smart tool, then you can do this section right here as one. And if you want to, then you can also write it in with the pencil tool like that. Okay, so let's go to off mode first. Now, when you're in off mode, any automation that exists will not be played back, okay? It's a, it's inactive, you don't, you don't have this active, it's off, so it will not read any automation. So let's play it. No automation whatsoever was played. So let's change to read. Now in read mode, any automation that exists will be played back. So all of this we, we will hear right now because it is now in read mode. So let's go ahead and play that back. Okay, so that is read mode. It is not recording anything. It is simply playing back whatever is already there, okay? All right, so let's get rid of this and let's change this to touch mode. Now, the important thing to know about these three here, touch, latch, and write, is that they are record enabled. So that is why it has the red lettering. And let's open up the fader here. And with auto touch, it means that it will not record until you make a change. The moment that you make a, cha a change, that you touch the parameter, it will start recording your change. When you stop, it will stop recording the change and it will go back to the original settings. So when we do the volume, we're going to bring it down. And when we let go of the mouse, it's going to pull it back up and it will stop recording. So let's, let's, let's give it a shot. You can see the red line. That is exactly where we are recording. If I let it go, it's going to go back up. And let go. And now this is what we have recorded for the automation. Okay. All right. So let's get rid of this. And let's move on to latch. Latch is very similar to um, touch. But the difference is that you know how touch, it went back to the original whenever we let it go. With latch, it will latch onto the setting that you left it at. So when I pull the volume down and I leave it there, it will stay there. It will not go back up. So let's, let's let me show you. And it will stay there until I bring it back up. And now I can do my changes and it will continue recording until I stop it. Okay. And we'll play it back. And you can make a change even after you've done this. Okay. 
and then it will overwrite what you had before. So let's go ahead and delete this and let's move on to write. Okay, so you see how the tab just became 100% red? That is because the moment that we press play, it will start recording any movement that we make, okay? So let's do it. Notice how that from the very start, it starts recording, it's red. Now, if we stop it, you'll notice how it goes to auto latch. Now, the reason that it does that is because it's more of like a safety feature. So that when you press play to, to hear the, the, the playback, when you press play to hear the playback, you don't start overriding what you just did. So it will go back to auto latch so that you do not overwrite your, your previous work. And those are the fundamentals of these four modes. One, two, three, four. Okay? Or five, I should say, because it's off. So if we turn this off, then all the automation that we just did, it will not um, play. It will not play back because it is an off mode. Now, there are ways for you to automate plugins, and I'll get into a diff uh, another video for that because it, it can get pretty complex. But I will show you how to do um, automations for plugins. And that basically covers the fundamentals of the Pro Tools um, um, automation modes. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And to keep up with new content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.